My name is Nadeem. Uh, I'm from Pakistan. I'm working as an associate professor at School of Urban Culture, uh, South China Normal University, Nanhai campus, Foshan. Usually I have like classes I used to go to my university, but when I don't have the classes, specifically on the weekend, so one, at least like one day we usually uh, spare for the kids. So we usually exploring like roundabout areas in Foshan. Madhya, do you like this place? Yes. Have a swimming, just our own, oh, yeah. also, have the, also have the slide. And I feel that like people are so friendly here. And another reason is because government to government we have a very good relationship, especially like Pakistan and China relationship. We always say Spatia, even like when we talk to the taxi driver and if they ask like Nisha Naga Gojada and when we talk to them like uh, I'm from Pakistan. Oh, So this, this gives me a kind of more friendly gesture. Wow, oh, he's Mahat. 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 I think this is very interesting because sometimes we, we are talking in various languages at home. Like sometimes we talk in English, sometimes we talk in our own language, sometimes we talk in you know, the Urdu language, which is the national language of Pakistan. But when my kids are playing together, they're talking in Chinese. Do you know how to speak Chinese? No, it's okay. So I think at the same time, we are usually using like four languages. And sometimes they make it confused. Like my daughters were, we were talking something and we said like the Chinese culture or something like that. And, and my daughter said, we Chinese people, like woman the Chungwa, so they, they feel like we are Chungwa and we are like the Chinese. And I told them, like, you have the passport. You see, yeah, but we are living here, so China is ours. So they, they feel like I think it's this very proud moment sometimes, like they, they are owning that, like they are grooming in this culture and now they are part of this culture. So they are more a kind of Chinese rather than like that they are mother, mother culture. So I think they are, they, are, they are more fluent in Chinese as compared to my uh, own, own language. Do you know where is my university? No. Here at the back. That, that is my university. Uh, of course, like I'm, I'm working in Foshan is on the, on the talent base. And they were so nice because they, they provided, you know, the, the place for the talent people. And they're, they're so, so kind that they are, you know, joining you and they're asking many questions. Do you have any problem? And even I like the place because they, have, they, they make a very good place for the, you know, foreigners there. And you just feel like, oh, you are in the best place here. So I think I, ha I have a very good, you know, opportunity in Foshan. When I was in uh, Guangzhou at that time, we established this India-Pakistan Research Center and I was particularly working on the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor. But my, mainly I'm working on the one belt one road in various perspectives, especially on the media perspective. Uh, for me, I think one belt one road, if I take it in Pakistan sense, so it's a game changer for Pakistan. Because it offers like the infrastructure, the energy, and there are so many projects, which I personally believe we do need in Pakistan. And I think this One Belt, One Road is going to be a game changer. One Belt, One Road is a kind of, you know, something which can offer a lot for the developing countries. Because China has groomed a lot in the last two decades. If we see the Chinese railway, especially the Gautier, like the fast train, and then we see the in infrastructure, the roads, the tunnels. I think China has a very vast experience. So China can extend these you know, expertise to the developing countries. And one of the good things under this Belt and Road Initiative is that China is always very flexible. China always try to coordinate according to the, you know, national policies of the different countries. So the more developing countries, they are, they are connected, their economy will be connected, their cultures will be connected, you know, people will be connected. So they can offer peace, prosperity and development 